right? So what I did to install React uh, on my machine is in here, right? The first thing I did is I went into my terminal, which if you need to get into it, you do here. You go to, if you have VS Code, um, this is how I do it in VS Code. So terminal, and then basically you need to follow the commands to install the React app, okay? So you can just Google, and I'll, I'll show that on the screen. Uh, crap. Uh, where is it? Let me just pull it up. React JS. Okay, so if I can just, nah. I hate I hate using this little. Dang it. I'm really bad at doing I've I have i have not really done this very much. Okay, cool. So look, um basically Google I'll just do it again. Google dot com and Alright, so create React app. But I do this for a lot of things. I don't just like because you're not going to remember everything that you do or that you need to know for software development. Because you're going to you're going to forget you're going to learn so many things that you're going to forget so many things. Just the way it works. Um, so if you're hating it in the comment section, just know this is how it's done. Um, but eventually, you will remember it after you made so many, of course. Um, so yeah, as you see here, you do npx create React app my app cd my app start right. So what I did. As I just put in npx create react app my app just like this says right and then did my npm start and that builds it for me it gives you a weird little logo um, that kind of circles around and stuff it's like are right, you see this logo right here uh, it basically shows you this but spinning in circles with a black background so it looks pretty cool You'll, you'll see it um, but so after that's done right you kind of understand the components of JS so uh, or sorry of, of react so I'm open up open up a new file and then um, hopefully I won't have to actually uh, let me actually open up this one again can I just save this and then reopen a different window that should be cool I don't think that should be a problem yeah, it lets me. Dope. Okay, so basically, you need to have your index file, your your uh, your, your your HTML file, your CSS file, your basic JavaScript file, and then you have other files too, right? So right now, all of this right here is showing is showing me um, what I showed you in the beginning, okay? Which is uh, this right here, all right? So, basically, um, with React, it's pretty straightforward. It's very simple. It probably sounds kind of scary if you're new, but it's it's really easy. So, first thing, you need to make sure on each file that you use within React, um, except for your style file, and, of course, this file, you have your import React from React. On your index.js file, you're always going to have import React from React you're gonna have import react dom from react hyphen dom and then you would import the new component so basically from index dot and, and also look so and you want to call from root so basically what this means is on your HTML boilerplate you have everything you basic HTML stuff of course you call your CSS and you call your index file right or your, your JS file but on your index page, you need to make sure you have a div ID of root, right? I think you maybe use a different div ID, but in this case, I'm using root. I'm not sure if you can use a different one, but what I've been taught or what I've learned is you need to use root. So you open your body tag, you have your div ID, root, close div, and boom. You see it's pretty simple there. I don't even put anything in the div. I just put a div ID. That's it. So your entire structure like your entire document is going to be in the root file. So all of this is actually within the root file. Now it's also then different other files, but at the very, very basic, it's in root because it's the root, 
right? Um, if you're familiar with file management, you understand that. If not, Google a root file. And it'll, it'll kind of explain it. But anyways, so now that you call the root, basically you go to index.js, right? And you call, you need to import React. So you import React from React, right? So you have capital R, R doesn't work. And then with your React DOM, you're actually calling the DOM, right? So we can manipulate it and make changes to your web page interactively on the fly. So, and you make sure you have a capital D-O-M. Okay, I have lowercase here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to call it the next file you're going to be using. So you're using index, that's calling index, or you're using uh, HTML. HTML is calling your index.js uh, uh, file, and the index.js file is calling your app.js file. Okay, so you're going to import your app from app right from period forward slash app and then you want to call it down here again to make sure you render it so react dom dot render app so you're just kind of closing it and making sure it's being called if that makes sense okay so this is when everything really really starts um boom now you're in the meat and potatoes of react okay um so again import react from react capital r it's case sensitive, camel casing, same as your regular JS stuff. Okay? If you don't know JavaScript, um, I made a, a short video on how to do JS injection. That will give you a very, very brief understanding of it. Um, but I would recommend going to Khan Academy and taking out taking out their course, which I linked in the um, JS injection uh, video. Anyways, so you do import reacting type effect. This is what I'm using for the reacting type effect, um, which I found by googling react typing effect, and 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 the the documentation shows you exactly how how to use it. So I'm gonna pull it up here. Um, give me just a second. I don't really want to show um, everything on my screen. Typing effect. Boom. Okay, so I googled React typing effect, and then here, I think it was this one. Uh, is it? Yeah, here. So this is telling you you need to install it, okay? So you will go to your uh, terminal here and you would install it. You just follow these commands, it's very simple um, npm install save React typing effect. You can copy and paste this into your terminal. You don't need a dollar sign. That's just calling the script, basically. Same as if you're using git bash or, or git, which I have a video teaching how to use that too to push and pull from your GitHub if you need assistance with that. If you're kind of back that level, go watch that video. Um, watch both of them. It should have basic understanding of how um, that works. Um, then you do the, it tells you React typing effect is the main component. Which means you need to call that component, right? So that's what you're doing here. Import React typing effect and React typing effect. Now you don't need to actually add this to your source file. In, in, uh, in, in React, all your files that you use are in this source file. Your components are usually going to be in a components file. You can put your CSS in a CSS. Or, or, or in a components folder, you can put your CSS in a components uh, in, a, in a CSS folder, and so on and so forth. Because file management is key, and uh, web apps like this, there's a lot of um, documentation going from here, going from there, calling this, calling that. You're going to need a lot of um, good file management. Do not be messy with this; it makes it very difficult. Don't do it. Start off on the right foot, and you should be good to continue. Now, example usage. Right, import. Let me see if I can just like this here. Uh, I, I can't just do the. Um, I would go down here and be like side by side, but I mean I've got so many windows on this on the screen, it's not gonna work. <clears throat> but look, so yeah, you have this here, and kind of explaining this code. Import React typing effect from React typing effect. We have that, and then we have that top line here, which is here. Let's just see. Now, <clears throat> it shows you constant React typing effect demo equals, you can get your little your function icon there. Uh, you're obviously doing an error function. Open your bracket, close your bracket down here. Open your return, close your return down here. 
um, open your angle bracket here, close it there. So basically, you keep keep that consistency as you would use with JavaScript. Again, if you need some basic understanding JavaScript, there's a link in my other video um, where I teach you how to do JS injections to secure your websites. Um, anyways, so once you have this little thing here, you do return React type in effect text hello. Okay, you don't need this. This is just commenting out what this is, and this is really here just explaining to you how this works. Okay, so kind of show it, um, I'm just going to do a control Z so it goes back. Okay, now I saved the file and close it, so I can't do that right now. But <laughs> what else can do, I was going to make this a little uh, better looking so you can understand it more. Um, hopefully that helps. So um, <clears throat> you have your header, which I am using um, the header for my background. So I should probably use a body tag or a body file, body.js file, something else. But I started off using header, and I'm keeping it, and it's probably, it's not best practice. It is not best practice, but um, for the sake of video, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to change it. So in my header file, I have um, function header. Of course, I'm going to import React, dot, import React from React. Um, I have my function header, tells me what function we're using. Open brackets, I have the return, and then I have this little element, right? When you're using a component like header.js, you need to make sure you have your import React, your function, your header, or your name of your function, and then always export default header. Now, whatever you're going to be calling later, you have to export. Whatever you're going to be using within that file, you have to import. That's why you have import here, and you have export down here. Okay? So, I am doing the header class name body. There's no context in here. There's nothing in here. Okay. <clears throat> so, but I am using this body class, which is coming from my CSS file. If I go to my CSS file, you'll see that it's consistent with what I have here. Okay. So, I basically have margin zero, so it kind of, you know, syncs up to the top. Drill just, you know, you don't have anything falling off the page. Background color, and this is a color that I found online. I was looking for some schemes that work together, and I found this color, so I'm using it. Height 100% covers the whole thing. The color of the text, which as you saw here, boom. Text align center makes everything centered. Um, font size, I make my thing. Uh, my font is just by content. Centers it again. Align items, centers it again. Different way, text line center. So these are the center, center things. Um, if you want to learn what these actually mean in more detail, um, you can Google um, CSS, just by content, Google CSS line item, Google CSS text align, etc., etc., and you have to understand. It will kind of explain that more um, in more detail. Anytime you do anything with code, you need to be reading documentation. Keep that in mind. Documentation, documentation, documentation. It is key to learning new things when programming. Anyways. So you have your padding top here. This padding top is why it's in the middle. The percentage puts it in the middle here. So that's how the CSS works on this file. Now, going back, um, of course, you call the, I call the header, and then the header contained the body, which was being uh, styled here. Now, going back to app.js, we have our React typing effect text. Okay, so I'm calling the component which it mentioned uh, blah, 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 here, I think, uh, was it? No, it wasn't here. That's the React app thing. Uh, here, okay. I'm calling the React typing effect, which as it tells us, is the main component. And React, you have to call components to use them. Import and export, remember that? Import and export. So, you're calling the React typing effect here, and you call it by putting it in a div. If you're using multiple components, you put everything in a div in your app.js file. Okay, so um, I have my div here. It looks kind of funky, I know. But it's, as you see, it's a div. Close it down here. And then there's the next um, component here, which is a header, which I w ran through with you. And then React typing effect text here. So the React typing effect is, we mentioned we called it, right? Now the return, which is up here, and then the effect. That's where we're at right now. Hello. Text equals open quotation hello. So 
That means whatever I put in this here, and then close down here, is going to be typed on our page, which is here. Okay, so I will show you um, it changing. Hello. So we're just going to change this out real quick here. Hey. Sorry, I've been at work all day using a. I have a different keyboard at work, so. <clears throat> just a little transition. A short transition period. Okay, it didn't break it. Good. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start it over here. We're going to refresh it. Let's go type what I wrote. Hey, YouTube. What's up? Alright, so that's how you use the React typing effect component. Um, I'll link it in the description, but honestly, you can Google React typing effect. So if I don't, just Google it. It'll be good. Uh, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching my short tutorial on this very simple component. It's my first time with React. I've been doing it for about three days now, so which isn't very good. I've only been able to you know, really put in like an hour or two every day, so I haven't really got very far with it. But anyways, hope you like the video. Um, I have more tutorials on my, on my, on my channel. Um, have some merch in the description there. Uh, there's some affiliate links I'm legally obliged to tell you. I got some affiliate links in there, so there you go. They're actually in all my videos. That's your disclaimer. Anyways, have fun, y'all. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, like, subscribe. If you want to see more stuff, just comment in there what you want me to know or what do you want me to teach you or make a video about, and I will do my best to do that. Um, I replied to all comments, so if you want some, if you want to talk to me, put a comment in there. I got you. Have fun. Deuce.